Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Rachachachwadash, double honors to the apostles of great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Ayash Kabar from the GMS Virginia camp coming at you with another lesson that I pray that you find edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai. Fair use, fair use, fair use. This is for educational purposes only. The book of Isaiah, chapter 32 and verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. What's going on around you? I was you? scrolling down on my computer, and you know what I'm saying? This article came past, I mean, came by, and he was talking about the um the uh the, the event that we had, you know, downtown. And he was telling me that they had policemen downtown, and they had policemen at the event. And he was like, he noticed that by looking at these, you know, what I'm saying, policemen, he said he noticed that they didn't look like citizens. He said that they looked like immigrants. And I'm sitting up here saying to myself, like, you got to be fucking joking me. If you think for a second that we indigenous people ain't finna peek this play that y'all trying to pull on us in, in, in Chicago and all these Democrat states. See, let me tell y'all something. Y'all better pay attention to these motherfucking policemen, okay? Because half of them ain't even fucking um, citizens. They are immigrants. And do you think for a second that I'm finna sit here and let a bunch of immigrants that came from a different state tell me what to do? It's most definitely gonna be war. I promise you, it's gonna be war. It, it, it's gonna be war as I say it. Because if these people think for a second, they finna police us. See, this is what I'm saying. We going to work and we paying our taxes to take care of a bunch of fucking immigrants that came over here. And we paying for them to be policemen and, and getting houses and food stamps and cash for this bullshit. Ain't no way. Ain't no way this finna fly. I promise you, this finna fly. I have to do more research because let me find out. That y'all some motherfucking immigrants trying to come in a black community and police me? It's going to be a problem. I promise you. It, 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 it's it's going to be a problem. Pay attention, indigenous people. Pay attention in these Democrat states. You can't make this up. Pay attention. It's going to happen, Keisha. And it's going to happen at a level that you're not prepared for. And it's going to be a dangerous time for you women. I mean, you talking like, you know, you got an army behind you. You know, you got the mindset that, you know, you have some set of authority over the times that are coming. You got the mindset that you're not going to be touched. You got the mindset that you are Billy Badass. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. You're at ease because you've never been put in your place before to understand the power of a man or the power of men because you've been pampered and protected for so long that ye have been compassed with armies. These armies are surrounding Jake, you know. They're surrounding your urban neighborhoods. They're, they're surrounding where Jake is. And you actually think that when it goes down, that you, you're going to be ready for this? You actually think that you're going to be able to go out there and talk shit to these immigrants? To these foreign nationals that have been given the order to break their foot off in your ass? You think that you're going to be able to talk shit in that day? The way you talking shit now? Talking about how it ain't going to happen? No, Keisha, it's going to happen. Yes, Keisha, and it's going to happen here real soon. You know, it, it, you're in that time where 
judgment is about to go forth. This devil is setting up his pawns in various locations. So when he gives that code, you know, I forget the code that they use in Star Wars, Attack of the Clones, um, code, code 51 or whatever the fuck the code is. Once they get that, once they give that go ahead to put you jakes down, you think these other nations are going to bat a fucking eye over some loud mouth woman who they don't like anyway? Nah, Keisha, you about to go through it. Verse 10, many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless woman. And you're a careless woman. You're very careless. Because not once did I hear her say her man is going to be there for her. You know, her family is going to be there for her. Her, her father is going to step up. Her uncle is going to stay in the front line. You know, her husband is going to be there, you know, to make sure that she's good. I ain't here to say nothing about that. And most women don't talk that way. Most of you Jake women don't even consider the fact that you need a man in these times. And not just any man. You need a man of Yahweh Shem Yahushah, period, point blank. But it's okay. You know, stay in your delusional world because it's about to get... Real serious, real bad, real quick. Ye careless women, for the ventures shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble ye women that are at ease. Yahabah Shem is saying, tremble. Tremble. Because when they shut the lights out and they call martial law out this bitch, you actually think that you're going to be able to walk out, walk outside your door? To go down into the local grocery store to get some fucking food? You actually think that you're going to be able to commute and roam around freely the way that you're able to do now? You actually think that you're going to be able to do these things in a time of Jacob's trouble? Are you fucking out of your mind? You know, and that's just the pride of these women. That's just the pride of Babylon the Great. They actually think that these things aren't going to come to pass. Meanwhile, this devil has been bringing in his new law enforcement, you know, to do all the fucking micromanagement, to put you Jason check. So you ain't got shit to do, Keisha. You have no might. You have no power. Tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare. Gird sackcloth upon your loins. When they break down your fucking door and they take your goods, if if you have goods, you know, I'm talking about edibles and perishables and shit like that. And if you look somewhat relatively decent, well, guess what? You're going to be booty in that day. You know, that's what's gone down through history. You know, when we came over here to Babylon the Great, you know, like when our forefathers came over here to Babylon the Great, you had no might in your hands back then. But what were you? You were booty. You know, you actually helped this man destroy the men of your nation. So in the time of Jacob's trouble, well, guess what you're going to be? You're going to be booty yet again. And that's if you look relatively decent. You know? How about Shem Yahushai is going to pass judgment on you women? Great judgment, you know? A lot of you women who like to sleep around, you know, he just might throw the spirit on these on these heathen, you know, to run you through. You know, you, you like to get down? Okay, I'm going to send 10 men there to get get you. And that's within the first hour. Then I'm going to send another 10 and get you in the next hour. Then another. Yeah, how about Shemiah Shah is wicked, bro? He's wick, wicked in the sense of his judgments are scarce. You know, he ain't wicked in the sense of evil. You know, the way we know the wicked to be. But his judgments are, 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 are great. You know? It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the true and living power. And you don't want that smoke. You know? And, and Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is going to hand you right over to the wicked. He's going to hand your ass right over to these other nations. To do whatever it is that they want to do to you. You know? You act like your shit didn't stink and you didn't want a man? Well, guess what? He's going to give you a bunch of them. 
He's going to give you beasts to tear and the fowls of the earth. You know? They shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful fru vine. You're going to lament for the things that you used to have. You're going to lament for the days when you were able to do what you want to do. You, you're going to lament, you know, for being a fucking idiot. You're going to lament. And you women are about to go through it. And, and if you actually think that your men are going to be there for you, you know, the way that you're talking about, nah, you know, not every Jake is bothered about it. Not every Jake is willing to get down. Not every Jake is ready to go to war. You could tell that by the fucking draft. A lot of these men ain't ready for what's coming. Not at all. So I don't know how the fuck you think you're going to get through what's coming. When even the elect don't even know how they're going to get through what's coming. The fuck? <laughs> you women, man. You women are about to go through it. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 1 and verse 12. And it shall come to pass that at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are, that are settled on their lease. And a lot of these fucking men are settled on their lease. They settled with the day-to-day. -day. They settled with falling into that rut. They settled with what they got. They settled with everything. And Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is, is going to destroy him. Because they're settled on their lease. They have not turned unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, to get that hedge of protection. They have not sought after him. Even though the prophets are still out there on the highways and byways to this day. You know, these jakes ain't seeking Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That say in their hearts, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai will do no good. Neither will he do evil. You know? They don't understand. <laughs> Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is not the author of confusion. You know, he hands out judgment. You know? He hands out judgment. And the angels go out and do it. And the demons go out and do it. And those demons are angels on the left hand side. They go out and they do the orders of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. So, looking at her face, she looks somewhat worried, but not really. Not really. Fear hasn't really punched her in her fucking face yet. Turmoil hasn't really dug into her soul. But the days are coming where you you see how you, you see how she's scratching her neck like, well, hold on a second, this shit's getting real. You see how she's doing that? Well, guess what? It's about to get more real. Every day we get closer and closer to Jacob's trouble in the MOTB and this civil unrest. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is constantly <laughs> showing signs. You know, a few people see it, but they actually think that they're going to be motherfucking Wonder Woman and Superman and somehow make it through it with their Homo sapien guns. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah. You don't have enough bullets. You don't. You never have. And you never will. You know? This is all about Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai at the end of the day. And it's also about the judgment that he's about to send forth unto these wicked women that won't turn back. You know? Because when you see this shit coming, the first thing that you would think that, well, shit, I need... I need a man. I need a man, but no. The words out of her mouth was like, nah, it ain't gonna happen. Not on my watch. No, no, really, on your watch, Keisha. This gonna happen on your watch. It's gonna happen when you standing there. She who is my enemy shall see it. You're gonna see these things transpire, transpire right before your eyes. And there ain't shit you, that you're gonna be able to do about it. There ain't shit that your man gonna be able to do about it. Your uncles, your nana, your aunties, they ain't going to be able to do shit. Because it's the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to pass judgment on the wicked of the heathen, of these other nations. Well, the heathen and you two-thirds Jake that don't want to repent in term, you know, that don't want to repent. You know? 
So yeah, evil days are coming to you, a lot of these women, man. Evil times are coming, and just prepare yourself the best that you know how. Apparently, she seems to think that she's able to gather a troop and prevent the will of Yahweh Shem Yahushua from going forth in terms of her judgment. You know, and she's sadly mistaken. And so with that, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem Yahushua Bahashem Bakaha. Shalom.